This song goes out to Ms. Vaughn and her LHS geometry class. These are the formulas for distance, midpoint, and slope. Distance. It may look like a square root. Slope. It may look like a fraction, but a midpoint's going to be expressed as an ordered pair. Oh, yeah. Distance. It may look like a square root. Slope. It may look like a fraction, but a midpoint's going to be expressed as an ordered pair. The formula for distance comes from the Pythagorean theorem for the length of the hypotenuse. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared is pretty much the formula we're going to use. You square the difference of x1 and x2 and square the difference of the y's. Add them up and you have d squared and then find its root to reveal your prize. Remember, distance. It may look like a square root. Slow. It may look like a fraction, but a midpoint's going to be expressed as an ordered pair. Oh, yeah. Distance. It may look like a square root. Slow. It may look like a fraction, but a midpoint's going to be expressed as an ordered pair. The formula for slope is going to look like a fraction that shows the slant using rise over run. It says m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The formula for midpoint is the one where you add and gives a point as an ordered pair. Just add the x's over 2 and do the same with the y's and you will know the midpoint is there. Remember, distance. It may look like a square root. Slow. It may look like a fraction, but a midpoint is going to be expressed as an ordered pair. Oh, yeah. Distance. It may look like a square root. Slow. It may look like a fraction, but a midpoint is going to be expressed as an ordered pair. Oh, yeah. A midpoint is going to be expressed as an ordered pair.